Brandon is with us in Lexington, Kentucky, starting off this hour. Hi, Brandon. How are you? Doing great, Dave. How are you doing today? Better than I deserve. What's up? Hey, excellent. Um, back at the end of February, I was in a car accident where the airbag was actually um, put in wrong. The airbag shot out the front of the car. The canister um, flew backwards. It took out my right eye. Um, broke my neck. I have severe burns. It degloved most of my face. Um, wow. But uh, it's pretty traumatic. Um, yeah, I think. But, wow. <laughs> um, How are you doing? But, uh, I, I'm getting better, you know, every day. February, this is a little unfortunate. Uh, yeah, you're still healing big time, aren't you? Yeah, I've still got a lot of, a lot of scars and scrapes and bruises. Um, but in probably 10 months to a year, um, there will be a settlement where conservatively it's probably around $5 million after everything's taken care of, attorneys, all that. I've never had access to that kind of money, um, and I want to be... You're you're covering your phone. I'm not hearing you. I'm sorry. Um, I never have access to that kind of money was the last thing we heard. Okay, yeah, I've never had access to that kind of money. Um, I want to do things the right way as far as taxes go. Um you know, take care of myself, my family, and I just wanted to see what the first steps need to be and, and where to go from there, if you had any advice. Oh, my. I'm so sorry. What a horrible thing to go through. Huh. Um, so you, you have an attorney on your team, I assume? Yes. That is, is He's advising you you're going to get the money that quickly. Um, they've been going about 10 to 15 months, typically. Um, it's kind of open and shut case. Yeah, I would think that, but, um, wow. Okay. And how old are you? Um, I'll be 38, uh, in about a week and a half. What do you do for a living? Uh, I've been in the restaurant industry, uh, serving, bartending. Okay. All right. The most recent. You said family. Are you married and kids? Uh, married and I have two wonderful stepdaughters Okay. that are 11 and, uh, 14. Okay. Well, what you've been through is very traumatic and very dramatic. Um, and so it's going to, uh, and it's been, you know, I can't speak to it as much as you can, Brandon, but I mean, uh, if I get a hangnail, I, I, I cry. So I can't even imagine with the pain and all the things you've been through and then the permanent loss of one eye. So, you know, you've got s- some uh, emotional uh, and physical healing to do from all of that. Uh, it's not a good time to be making really big decisions uh, like, woohoo, I hit the lotto kind of decisions. Uh, and, and so I can tell you how to do it over the course of a long period of time. And then you've got to implement it. So here's a whole bunch of things I'm going to throw at you. And then I want Ken to speak to your career thing. Number one, I want you, as soon as you're able emotionally and physically to develop a career track, I want you to develop a career track where you don't need this money. Okay. If you don't need this money, then it's going to work really, really, really hard for you. And, and you're going to be in a position of unbelievable wealth at the end of this story as a result of only $5 million, because it can, let me, let me give you an example. Okay. You're 38. If you just Mm -hmm. never touched it and invested it, and that's not what I'm going to suggest by the way, but if that's all you did and you put it in a mutual fund series of mutual funds and it made 10%, it would double about every seven years. So that means when you're 45, it's 10. When you're 52, it's 20. When you're 60, it's forty million dollars. That's how important it is that you don't go through this money and blow it all. Now we're not going to do that exact plan, but you're going to put in place something that gets the advantage of that kind of thing. Because to me, a sixty-five-year-old with forty or sixty million feels a lot more exciting than a thirty-eight-year-old with five million, and I hope it does to no. you. That's where you're going Absolutely. if you'll go get, if you don't, you know, treat this like woo-hoo, emotionally, like, woohoo, I hit the lottery. I know you didn't hit the lottery. I understand that you've been through a lot of pain, sure. and I'm not diminishing that part of it. But you see what I'm saying? You don't blow this, which is why you're calling. Right. So thank you. So here's what we're going to do. Number one, you put an investment person in your corner 
an investment advisor that has the heart of a teacher. Their purpose is not to do the investing for you. It's to teach you enough that you can start to make basic decisions on basic investing and later on more sophisticated investing. Okay. Number two, if you're going to do some real estate, you put a real estate person in your corner. And if you're going to invest some of it in real estate, you would buy real estate. And that one's going to take you longer than the other kind of investing. And you're going to pay cash for real estate or that's for investment purposes, or you're not going to buy. Do you own a home? Uh, no, no, currently. Okay. Then we're probably going to buy a house out of this, but something super mm-hmm. conservative because every dollar we put in that house is not doubling every seven years. All right. And that's where we're going to go with this. So you begin to develop, uh, and then you get a tax person in your corner. The same thing with the heart of a teacher. Uh, And then you get an estate planning attorney in your corner. Same thing with the heart of a teacher. And you start to develop almost an advisory board for Brandon Incorporated. And the advisory board is an investment advisor, a real estate advisor, an insurance advisor, a tax advisor. And you start to put these people in your corner and you can find most of them on our website. I don't, I'm not in any of those businesses. I don't want anything from you. I don't want to do any of it for you, but I want you to do it and let them have the heart of a teacher and lead you. And then I want you to move into a career, Ken. Yeah. I curious, did you have something you always wanted to do before the accident? Something you thought about? Uh, honestly, no, um, I, I don't, All right, I've, so, been, I've been thinking about that. I, I want to do something. I just don't know what I'm going to be one capable of doing after all this is said and done. Yeah. That's my first thing and, is you need to find out from your doctor what, if any physical limitations you'll actually have, cause you're still in the healing process. So I'd start with physical limitations and then I begin to look to the heart and, and answer this question. Who are the people you most want to help? What are the problem they have or maybe a desire uh, that they have that you would like to be a part of that solution? When you can answer those basic questions right there, you'll begin to see, hey, this is how I want to contribute. So don't think about work anymore as just work. Think about it as how am I going to contribute? and begin that process. Go to KenColeman.com, download the Career Clarity Guide, and go through that worksheet by yourself, then with some trusted people who know you really well. And it's gonna begin to give you some ideas. And then once you know your limitations and what you need to do then they get qualified, that's how you begin that journey, that process. And I agree, Dave, if he's working, doing what he loves, he's already got all the money he needs. Yeah. Hang on, Kelly's gonna pick up. I'm gonna put you through Ramsey Plus with Financial Peace University. I'm gonna pay for it. We don't need anything from you. We just wanna help you, sir. You call back as you're working through this, and I'll help you with it and advise you as you go along. 